Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to link custom reinforcements and heroes for private matches and instant action for Star's Battlefront 2. Uh, in my last tutorial I covered duplicating the uh, reinforcements and heroes themselves, but this is how to uh, make them actually appear uh, in-game. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to figure out uh, and I'm going to open my project file really quick. You're going to want to figure out uh, what faction you want to put it on. So for example, there's uh, Light Side Prequels, which is Republic, and like Dark Side Original Trilogy, which is Empire, uh, and Light Side uh, Sequel Trilogy, which is the Resistance, etc. So uh, the one I picked in the last tutorial was uh, dark side reinforcement, so that means we'll have to do a uh, dark side faction. It does not it does not matter what trilogy you do it in, like what era you do it in, it just means you cannot do it on the other faction. So since I chose a dark side reinforcement I, and I duplicated the uh, death trooper, I'm going to go for uh, a dark side original trilogy reinforcement. Uh, so I have the names for both of these files pulled up. Uh, in the description I hope to have some files linked for, uh, or names of files in like a txt file or just in the description. But uh, I already wrote down the uh, names of a lot of the, uh, or I mean, I already wrote down the names for the Dark Side Original Trilogy uh, files. So the main thing you're going to search, the main keyword, is specials underscore dark underscore uh, org, like original, so uh, you'll want to go into gameplay, teams, mp, org, excuse me, um, and you're going to want to, uh, and you're going to find all these files here. So we have, uh, let's see, specials, dark, org, uh, ds, which is death star, ian for indoor, HO for Hoth, MOS for Moss Eisley, SCAR for Scarif, and YA for Yavin. There's another one that's Hoth, so we'll just leave that open as well. Uh, then what you'll, and for heroes, you'll want to search heroes underscore dark underscore OT. Then you want to go to add ons, mode one, mode one gameplay teams MP, and uh, if you have a hero, just follow the same steps here. I'm doing a reinforcement, so. Uh, you want to uh, find where your duplicated kit is. So it's probably going to be an A0 mod gameplay kits, then your uh, reinforcement name is going to be here. Then in the kits folder, you should have kit underscore special or hero, depending on what you duplicated, and uh, your name, your uh, character name. So you're going to want to select your kit file. You're going to want to uncollapse this. Uh, kit section in the uh, in this team asset. You're going to want to click plus, then while you have the kit selected, uh, press this arrow right here to assign from selected assets, so uh, uh, it just directly adds that kit there. You'll want to do this in all of the map files if you're doing reinforcements uh, with that same name, so it'd probably be like specials underscore dark underscore like uh, orig or preek uh, like P-R-E-Q for prequels, usually just the four, uh, first four letters. Um, so you're going to want to just add a new uh, entry and just press the plus with the kit selected on all of these. Now what you want to do after you finish that is I like saving right here, so you can just click this uh, third button in the toolbar or you can go to file, save, and I'm just going to check all of these to make sure they all have it, and it looks like they do. So I'm going to save here, I'm going to go to Window, just close all documents so I uh, close all the tabs open, and then uh, what you're going to want to do is go to Tools and go down to Team File Completer, and this is going to uh, add your uh, kit files to all these team asset files, so you don't have to link any IDs manually, it, uh, it'll just do it for you. And if you want, you can save there, which I am going to. And then 
uh, if you want them to show up in the front end, because we only link them to map assets, if you want them to show up in the front end for heroes, it'll be complete uh, heroes, like so, but if you, you're doing reinforcements like I am, then it'll be complete specials. So you're going to want to make your way to gameplay teams, test range teams, and then you'll see that this file has all kits of uh, all reinforcements. So what you'll want to do is go and select your kit again, add a new entry here, and click assign from selected assets. Then we can run the team file completer, and uh, the log is really long, so you probably didn't notice it, but it did uh, add it to front end complete team at the top here. So yeah, if you uh, run bundle manager, complete bundles, and then you can uh, launch the game after that, it should show up in game. So yeah, I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful, and I'll see you on the battlefront.